What's going on everyone? It's Atenador from Android Invasion. I just want to quickly go over for you Go Launcher HD. This was released last night, March 1st, on the Go Launcher blog. It's not available on the market yet, but if you go to the website, you can get the download link or even if you look in the description of the video. Anyway, so let's go ahead and show you the transitions in Go Launcher HD are extremely smooth. Now, first off, this is made specifically for Android tablets, so you'll need 3.0 or greater to run this. It will not run on any of your gingerbread loving devices. Uh, you start off mainly with five home screens. You don't get to change the transition animation on Go Launcher HD. I know you're probably used to that on Go Launcher uh, EX, but yeah, not getting this here yet. But remember, it's still a beta. Also, there's no theming on the icons, so you can't change the look of the device in that way. But again, this is a beta that might happen eventually. So you have pretty good folder support. As you see, folders open up almost instantly. The animation is very quick. And by holding down on the icon and just dragging them over to another icon, you can just instantly put them in folders. Pretty neat, guys. And then you just move them back out if you don't like it. I personally like that aspect of it. Uh, second of all, your app drawer opens up pretty nicely as well. You're greeted with your all apps, and as you see, scrolling through this is very nice. You can also go through to your Go widgets, so this also supports widgets from developed by Go themselves. You get them at the marketplace. I currently have none installed because I have no need for them at the moment. Uh, next, you can actually see what's running on the device. I have a lot running right now. And up here in the top uh, right corner, you actually have a broom there. If you tap that, it ends everything in your processes. And I don't want to do that because I will probably end screencast by doing that. Yeah. Anyway, this also has a pretty nifty editing mode. So as you see here, we are brought up to each of the screens. You can add more by pressing that top right button there. You can add more screens. You can have as many as you want, but I don't need all of these screens. All right, back to editing. So here, you can drag uh, icons from your app drawer that are all up here. You can actually get them by frequency or by alphabetical name. So let's say I want to drag plume, I can just drag plume there. I'll drag places down there. And let's say I want to put plume and Polaris office in a folder. I can do that there. I can also drag places back in the folder. Notice I'm still in the editor. I can then drag pulse down to my dock bar. Or I can also add it over to another folder. So there's folders, and then I can just take it right back out. As you see, this is extremely smooth, and this works very well. You can add folders, you can add shortcuts, you can add Go Widget widgets, and let me get to a pretty empty screen. Okay, let's get to the last one, and then boom, you can even add your own widgets from the Android screen, from the uh, from the base Android, straight in the uh, editor menu, and you just take them and you put them there. Uh, sure, whatever. And yeah, there they go. You can also move the widgets around. And let's see, can we edit the size? Yeah, you can even edit the size in the editor menu. Look at that. Let's try to rotate this and see if the editor menu rotates as well. And there we go. Editor menu rotates just as well. This launcher was made for simplicity of use. You don't get those fancy theming options that you get with Go Launcher EX or ADW Launcher EX. Now this is just for the simplicity of the of things. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, anything else I should go? Oh yeah, the preferences, like I said, since this is a beta, there really isn't much you can do. You can change the app drawer grid size, or you can change the screen grid size. You can also back up your settings. Although I'll be honest with you, there aren't many settings to back up. But like I said in the beginning, this is still a beta. There's much, much more that's going to come out eventually. Uh, ooh, they should have done that. And we're back. But yeah, I guess that's it, guys. That's Go Launcher HD. You guys should check it out in the download link. And uh, enjoy.